Hey guys, um, welcome to another tutorial. In this one, what I'm going to show you is actually how to um, get a, a, a design, a website design that maybe you've created in Photoshop um, ready to export into Dreamweaver um, and start using it as a website. Um, so what I'm going to do today in this tutorial, I'm going to cover a couple of things. Number one is the slice tool, which is within Photoshop. Um, that also ties in with the slice select tool. Um, what else we're we going to cover? We're going to cover uh, saving the document for web and devices, and as a HTML and images folder, um, images document. Sorry, um, the extension is PNG, um, which is great because it's the the highest quality um, you can save an image for actually web hosting, to my recollection, anyway to my knowledge. Um, we're also going to cover a few things in Dreamweaver, um, how to import it into Dreamweaver, how to set it all up um, and link everything. Um, this There might be a, a, a part two in this depending on how long I go on for. Um, but what we're going to start, we're going to get straight into it now. This is my design, um, which is the current design of layout of my website what we're going to do is we're going to go straight in with the slice tool and if you don't know where the slice tool is uh, located it's this one here that looks like a uh, Stanley knife um, it might be under this which is the crop tool what you want to do is you want to click and hold and come down to the slice tool now what this does is it's a it's a click and drag um, sort of uh, sort of tool it's like a crop tool so what we'll do, we want, I'll give you a bit, right, the slice tool is used to create images within another image. Um, and it's because of the HTML document that we want to save with the entire image that allows us to do this. It's all code in a way, which is great because websites, HTML, CSS, Java, um, JavaScript, sorry. Um, so what we want, these these buttons here, the home, portfolio, graphics and tutorials, we want these to obviously be linkable once we've got it into Dreamweaver. And the way we do that is with the slice tool. So it's literally click, drag, done. There's my first button. Um, I don't have to go and in, um, into any properties or anything like that to get it to work. I can, if I want, uh, choose the slice select tool like I just did double click on the little icon next to the number and um, that brings up slice options which allows me to put a name in so I'm gonna put home like that and now you wanna do that for everything on your web page that you want to be editable completely and utterly editable whether you want it to be hyperlinkable to something or whether you want to change the contents of it like down here this is my main section here I'm going to want this to be changed, uh, to change, sorry, depending on which page people are on. So I want it to be sliced. So that in Dreamweaver, I can change it. So we'll slice that. And now what I'm going to do, I'm just going to slice up everything else that I need, and I'll get straight back to you. Okay, so now I'm back, and you can see um, I've sliced everything I, I wanted to slice. I've... Um, that I want to be linkable. I've gone and named everything. It's very important that you do name everything. Um, because it can get a little confusing. Uh, ooh, down here we've got a couple. Oh no, we've got a couple of slices down here which aren't the correct size. My bad. If you want to select multiple slices, like I do here, just like anything, hold down the shift key. Uh, start up to there and that down to there, and they've all got names as well. My footer and stuff. Um. I'm going to save that as a PSD. Okay, that's saved. Now, don't worry about the URLs if you're confused in the slice options. Don't touch anything else in the slice options. Um, next thing is the saving process. And Now, what you want to do is um, come up here to File. Um, don't click on Save As. Don't click on anything else. What you want to do is you want to come to Save for Web and Devices. Um, the short key, if you want to call it a short key, is Alt Shift Control S. Uh, for that, click on that. 
Now I've already got mine saved, so I'm not going to resave it, but I will show you exactly what to do. This box up here will appear, and it'll probably up here in the presets. It probably won't be on PNG 24. That's what you want it to be on, though. So if you're on GIF, for example, like that, just come up, click the drop-down menu, come down to PNG 24. Um, leave everything else as it is. Make sure your percent, that's your quality there, is 100. And then click Save. And what you want to do, in this, once you've clicked Save, it'll bring up your Save box, where you want to fold it. Choose a folder where you want to it to be saved now under the file name make sure it's a file name that you remember obviously and is relevant to the um, to the document because if you're creating a few of these trust me it does get really really frustrating when you can't find one single image um, come under to uh, under here to format and make sure that you're on HTML and images uh, settings default settings slices all slices and hit save and then that'll be done. It might take a minute or two. Um, it shouldn't do. Um, and that's it. That now, now what you do, if you go into the folder that you saved it in, you've already technically got your website as a HTML, and you haven't even had to put it into a a website builder um, building program like Dreamweaver yet. So I'm just going to go into the uh, the folder where I saved it which is in here uh, designs 2011 light shade site so now if I just open this see this is the HTML that I just created and this is the images document that's what it will do it will give you a HTML and next to it it will give you a separate folder called images automatically called images and if you go into the images folder it will show you all the slices see in the navigation bar here I got the about contact graphics home it's all separate images now if you double click on this and open it in your browser it will open it and display it to you like a website see obviously nothing's linked yet because I haven't put it into Dreamweaver to link and to link it all but there it is. That's that's a HTML. That's how you get it to HTML. And we know, of course, that Dreamweaver likes HTML files. So in the next next part of this video, I'm going to show you how to get it into Dreamweaver and how to start playing around with it and getting it ready um, for uploading it F via FTP to your web host. Okay, so stay tuned, guys. Mm -hmm.